501. Good morning to you. I'm Sherman DeSalle. And I'm Noel Bello. You are Noel Bello. I am, and I'm here this morning. And I'm what are you doing here? I don't know. I, I mean, I just wanted to see you and Brittany more, so yeah. I nope. couldn't sleep. I just kind of woke up and said, nope. why not? We're putting out of work. So thank you very much for joining us this morning. My pleasure. We appreciate it. Okay, so we got a lot of stuff to do. So we're definitely... Well, scientists are exploring a link between Alzheimer's disease and bacteria in our intestines. The promising research could bring hope to sufferers and their families. Gene West reports. Well, the Super Bowl may be history, but that hasn't stopped the Monday morning, Tuesday morning, even Wednesday morning quarterbacking. Yeah, this is going to be the topic for a while. Fan, yeah. It looked gorgeous. I yeah. wish I could travel. I, it looks like something like that, that I'd like to go to. It Most looks definitely. very interesting. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty cool. Well, some Kentuckians sent a whole barrel of bourbon to Washington in hopes it will spark some conversation and compromise. <laughs> Master <laughs> Distillers filled the bourbon barrel of compromise Monday morning in Lexington and then loaded it onto a bus to Washington, D.C. Okay. The barrel arrived Tuesday night at the Intercontinental Willard Hotel in D.C. as a nod to Henry Clay and his use of bourbon to get things done. The bourbon summit hype began when President Obama told reporters he'd like to have some Kentucky bourbon with Senator Mitch McConnell. He was talking about trying to get, you know, the Republicans and Democrats to work together. But. I think they're going to need more than one barrel. <laughs> 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 Never a truer statement. <laughs> Thanks, I mean, Toby. you know, we're talking about some guys who can't even agree on vaccinations. Exactly. Oh, it's just, so, it, it's going to take a couple barrels. Maybe like some <laughs> maybe some gin or something. Send <laughs> everything. Something a little stronger. stronger. <laughs> a little stronger. <laughs> we'll be right back at that type of thing? Science. Uh, my dad kind of always <laughs> helped me out with those. <laughs> I had a tornado once. That one was pretty cool. But my last couple ones were just kind of... Yeah, I, I, I understand. Science. I feel you on that. I, I was not good that at good. science. She is good at science. <laughs> and she's doing it right now. Good morning, 601 and 41 degrees. I'm Noelle Bello. And I'm Sherman DeSalle, and I'm already happy that I haven't read as nearly as much stuff as I normally <laughs> read. <laughs> I'm happy to help out any way I can. Anyway. No, absolutely. We're, we're glad that you're on the show, and a couple of people are watching from all over via live stream, right? Yeah, I've got some uh, friends and family over in uh, Los Angeles that nice. are watching via live stream. So hi, guys. Yeah, and, and including your, your old station in, in LA, too. My old too. station, yep, KTLA. Hi. That's nice. Thanks, <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for doing that, people. A couple of tiger cubs that are over there at the Alexandria Zoo now. Check them out. You don't even want to see me. You need to look at these tigers. <laughs> they are so active. How old are they now? Ten weeks. Ten weeks old. Okay. But, but we don't have names yet, you said. Is that right? Not yet. No. And they're both boys. What are, what are, they, what are they doing right now? If people come to the zoo, what are they going to see these tigers do? during the day. Well, right now they're not out on exhibit where anybody can see them. They're still um, up in the in, behind the scenes right now. Okay. Okay. Um, we're they're definitely be out for the Mardi Gras party. Okay. We're going to have them set up where people will be able to see them. Won't be able to do any touching, but they'll be able to come out and see them. And hopefully they'll be playing and wrestling and They've already been doing that this morning. You can tell they're <laughs> they're very rambunctious right now, but but they're great. That's a great addition to the zoo, right? Yes, yes. Well, we're very proud. I mean, these are Malayan tigers, and uh, they Look were the born zoo. at the zoo. Okay. So um, there are less than 60 Malayan tigers in captivity in North America right now. Wow. So these two successful oh. births are uh, quite a significant addition to the population. And you can so. tell they just love each other. Look at them hugging. Yeah. Enjoying their time. <laughs> They're so, watching everybody. <laughs> so you mentioned the Mardi Gras party. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes. The Mardi Gras party will be following the Children's Parade on February the 14th. And this is something we've done for several years. So people just pay regular zoo admission. They get to come in. They'll get to see the tiger cubs. We're going to have them out in the open for people to see. <laughs> uh, we won't have a lot of interaction with them because they're a little... A little nervous. Yeah. Um, but we will have treats by Atwoods. Okay. And we'll also have the Victory Bells performing that day from 2 oh, to 3. Great. So we're going to have lots of good stuff going on. It sounds like a great party. Great and, party. And the animal shelter will be there if anyone wants to look at dogs for adoption. Oh, whoa, okay. So a whole, a full gamut of things. You know, it is. you mentioned dogs and cats. Sometimes animals can tell if you're, if you're scared of them or nervous around them. Uh -huh. Can tigers tell if you're, if you're nervous? around them sure they sense that oh yeah absolutely okay. i mean at this age they don't really <laughs> care as much um they're more checking things out and they're the ones that are more nervous right now but you can tell yeah. they are some curious cats that's for sure yes they are uh when when will do you think they will be on display after the mardi gras parade it will be between two and four. Okay, okay. Between two and, two and four. four. All right, so if you, if you want to see these tigers, you definitely need to go to that Mardi Gras party. 
It is uh, Saturday, February 14th, so if you need a Valentine's Day date, that's going to be a fun one. That'll be perfect. To. Yeah, definitely. Yes. All right, I'm going to see if this one will let me pet him. Oh, he will, he will, he will. <laughs> oh, okay. <Just> let me. <laughs> Stay with us, we'll be right back.